Hello y'all, I'm Miss Mother Trucker and welcome to my channel. Anyway, I am sitting here in Indiana, just dropped off the load. Um, we are headed to pick up another one in Illinois and then bringing it back to Indiana. We're taking it to Indianapolis and then we got a high valve load going from Indiana to California. <laughs> Which is good because, shoot, I've had a bad week, y'all. I mean, the revenue this week has sucked ass. We had um, three cancellations. So I did a load for like 2500 Then I got three cancellations. And then I got this load from Cali to Indiana. And that was for 5500 and then I got this little overnight load for 800 So I'm not even going to have it about eight grand, maybe, <coughs> in revenue this week. So it's not going to be what you would call a stellar week. And then I got these messages. They come up, you know, how they'll send them out like an auto message on the Qualcomm. Hey, holidays are coming up. You want to make some extra money, become a trainer. Oh. That's what I think of that. Hell no. Right now is not a good time to be a trainer. I mean, I'm a trainer right now, and I will take another student right after Zach. And because I'm going out for surgery here um, uh, in uh, January, and uh, at the end of my lease, and then I'm coming back and doing another lease, but I won't complete it because I'm going to order my truck when I get back. Unless I order it just before I go out. I don't know. And I'm having trouble. I'm, I've been debating between a Peterbilt and a freight shaker. The thing is, is with the Peterbilts, there's not shit for storage. It is a smooth, comfortable ride. Yes. But, and I know they have higher resale value in a Pete than in a Freightliner. But a Freightliner gets better gas mileage. Um, they have much more storage. Which I plan to rip the cabinets out and have the Amish rebuild them with drawers and everything. And just redo my deal. The uh, Peterbilt has a larger bunk. They're prettier truck. But they're having a lot of glitches with their equipment, with their uh, digital system. And I plan to get a digital system on my uh, freight shaker, but my friends have them aren't having any trouble with it. So, um, and I'm told that the uh, digital systems in the um, Peterbilt are like archaic technology that they're using. So that's a little concerning. So, you know, I'm just kind of really debating because I just really have my heart set on a Peterbilt, but storage is huge for me. I live on my truck. You know, I don't have a home base. My truck is my home base. I mean, I own property all over, but I don't live in, it, in, in any of them. Um, I plan to buy a piece, another piece of property in California next year. And I'm going to put a park model RV on it. So, looking forward to that. Then I will have a home base and we'll start taking more home times and cruises. So, anyway, um, if y'all can kind of leave in the comments what you think. Uh, kind of help me with the pros and cons list. And maybe we'll do a live feed. We did our last live, what, last? last week sometime. So I'll try to do a live on today's Tuesday. Let's try for Friday night. Friday night live. And um, maybe you guys can come on and also leave down in the comments what you think. Freightliner or Peterbilt. And when we do the live maybe we can discuss it more. And um, go from there because I kind of really would like a bunch of different varying opinions because oh by the way y'all go check out Jim C's channel he's awesome love his channel 
check out Violet No Hippie. Now that man's a Peterbilt man all the way. And also check out um, Tim Travels. Check out Terry. The host is Terry. It's at Tim Travels. He's an ex-attorney. This dude is awesome. I love him to death. He is the shit. And also, um, check out that nomadic couple. Um, I gotta go over and check them out, by the way, because they were, last I heard from them, they were in that hurricane, and they live in an RV. They're um, a nomad couple. But they're real funny. They're real entertaining. And uh, when you go over there, it's called that nomadic couple. Tell them Mother Trucker sent you. Okay? And, by the way, uh, please like, subscribe, and future videos are coming out. You'll get notifications. Um, I'm going to schedule a live, and I just got to remember to do it <laughs> and hope, you know, and take, take the time to pull over and do it if um, I'm doing it. So, I'll go in and schedule the live for later, and we will be discussing... Um, what is the best truck, a Volvo, a Peterbilt, a um, Freightliner. And uh, that's another thing with Freightliner. They uh, stop letting you order the extra airbags for the cab. So there was some problem with them. They were having problems. So, I mean, I'm kind of glad. I, But um, I know you can go to get some kind of aftermarket stuff from uh, Kenmore. And um, you're supposed to be able to really smooth out the ride on this uh, freight shaker. So I'll have to check that out if I do that. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to drop you a quick video because I haven't dropped one in a minute. I've just had a lot of stress going on and um, just other things. Uh, and at the same time, nothing going on. So there, you know, but... I didn't want to leave y'all hanging wondering what Mother Trucker's up to and what kind of pain in the ass moves I'm doing. Um, but anyway, guys, I really appreciate you guys. And hey, if you're thinking of coming to Prime, I'd appreciate it if you had used my driver's code. I'm, I haven't really been one to push it, um, but my driver's code is F-U-O-S-M-A. That again is F-U-O-S-M-A. Use me as your referral when they say who referred you. Put that driver's code in there. I'd be ever so grateful. It'll help my channel. It'll help me. Um, do I think this is a good time to come into trucking? Yeah. Absolutely. Are we having a little bit of a slow patch? Yeah, but compared to what most people are making that aren't truckers, yeah, we're doing pretty darn good. And at Prime, uh, we're doing better than most. We got a lot of good contract freight. Um, are we doing as good as we were doing last year? No. Uh -uh. Um, is the market slowly starting to turn around? Yeah. Is it going to shoot up to what we did uh, the year before? I don't know. A um, lot going on in the world. So we just have to wait and see. I mean, our economy's really taking a hit. So anyway, guys, um, like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you. Sorry this was kind of a convoluted video, kind of here, kind of there. Um, sorry about that. I do appreciate you guys, and there was something else I wanted to talk to y'all about, and I just can't think of it. I know as soon as I end this video, I'll go, oh, shoot, but it's too late. It's a damn pair of on. It's too late, baby, now it's too late. <laughs> So anyway, guys, please treat each other with love, kindness, and respect. Practice inclusion instead of exclusion because you never know who you might meet and you might really like them. Okay, guys? Take care, and I will talk at you later. Mother Trucker out.